Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shinta Brown, and today I have my cousin Aquasi with me. Yeah, we're about to talk to you about some skincare products that we are loving right now. The seasons are changing, and with that, your skin tends to change. I'm more on the dry side. I have combination skin, but I am dry combination. Okay, see, what kind of skin are you? So I'm more on the oily combination side. So he will be talking about products that he likes to use for the oily combination, whereas I will be talking about products for the dry to combination skin. Yeah. Now, one thing I realized that when it's turning to fall, you know, like when the weather starts to get a little crispier, it's now time to switch out those products, yeah. right? And get something a little bit more thicker. What about yeah. you with oily skin? Do you notice that you have to do that? Yeah, so I'm always on rotation. So the products that I use now, uh, a season from now, I'll be using something else, switching it. There's some that I will still continue on the next, uh, you know? Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah, like some of them that you can use all season yeah, round, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I noticed yeah. with me and my dry skin, like, oh my gosh, when the weather gets to this point towards mm -hmm. winter, I get really dry, like cracky dry. Mm -hmm. So first product I want to talk about, I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> start with the, the face and stuff first. Okay. Um, one product that I love to use all year round is okay. Dr. Janice Gross's Extra Strength Daily Pill. This works miracles. Yeah, I actually use this as well, and I can't live without it. So we both love this. We both swear by it. And he has oily, and I have more of the dry. And it works amazing. I think this works perfect for every skin yeah, type. Yeah. Um, what does it do for you? Like, So for me, mm -hmm. um, I'm prone to breakouts. And I studied ways I can create my own regimen to give me like a smooth flawless looking kind of skin. Right. And I've noticed with uh, Dr. Dennis Gross, uh, their product, it helps with acne. Yeah. It helps with oily. It helps with dry. It helps with all types of skin, you know? Absolutely. And it doesn't over, pro like when I use it, it doesn't over dry my skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it dries it to enough where it's killing the bacteria under, but it also keeps the skin moisturized. Right. Well. It, it also helps my pores. Mm. Yeah, so. I totally agree with yeah. the pores. Um, yeah. One thing I love to use is this formula during the night. I like using it at night for some reason. Okay. Um, when I use it at night, I notice that when I wake up, my pores are like reduced tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. And then if I have yeah. any little acne issues, they're addressed overnight. Yeah. So what I usually do is I'll use this, the peel, and then after the peel, I go in with the Blur Repair Cream. And all of these yeah. are located in Sephora. Mm -hmm. And with the Blur Repair Cream, if it's not too oily, so if somebody like you with yeah. oily skin yeah. would work well with okay. this, as well as dry skin. It's not too thick, it's not too oily, it's not too anything, and it just feels like so smooth yeah. to, the, to the touch, to the skin. And then when I wake up, my acne or whatever has reduced or it's, it's gone mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. So I love using the two. And then another Dr. Dennis Gross, Dennis Gross that I like to use is the Plump Repair Treatment Lip. Okay. Because, honey, we don't love a crack lip over here. <laughs> so at night, this is basically, this is my night routine. I love to put this on my lip. I love to go in with the wipe and then, you know, touch it with the moisturizer for the face to allow my skin to do its thing. And then, you know, touch up my lip with that. So that really gets rid of the cracks and everything to keep that lip nice and perky and juicy for my baby boo hey honey <laughs> so what do you like to do in the night do you have like a different routine in the night yeah or is it the same products throughout no i, I have a different routine okay night, so. so show us what is your so, night 
So Same. my night routine mm -hmm. is using the same uh, Dr. Dennis Gross oh, cleansing gel. Oh, I used cream. to use that. Yeah. You know, it's really good. I feel like I've, I've spent, I've spent, I can say I spent hundreds and hundreds on, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on products to see. I know you know your products. Yeah. That's why I was like, you know what? Let me get him on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. This is an exclusive yeah. because this From man, elementary school to now, like, I'm he don't play skin. with his yeah. skin. Yeah, so... <laughs> I noticed that this is one of the few soaps that helps me. It works for me all year round. Mm -hmm. I don't have to change this. Okay. When I do change it, I regret it, actually. And then I go back to it again. Oh. So this is something I use all year round. So I can use this in the morning and evening. Yeah. And this works, again, for any skin type. It's good for oily, dry, yeah. combination, whatever your skin issue. I really yeah. like it for every skin type. So I will use this only for the night. I mean, mm -hmm. excuse me, for day and night. Yeah. Um, Followed. So... We're talking about night right now, right? Yeah, okay. your night routine. I so, want to start with the night because okay, sometimes so. people's day routines have a lot more products, okay. I've noticed. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for night, I just use that. And then I use um, like a skin brightening soap called uh, Extreme Glow. Extreme Glow. Yeah, I don't have it with me now, the box, okay. because I've been using it. But I use it at night. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I'm done with that, I get out the showers. I use my toner. And the toner I do use is from this brand here, which is called um, um, Renutrive Estee Lauder. Oh, so Estee Lauder. Yeah, this is what I'm using. And this is the gold line. Okay. Yeah. Um, before this, I was using La Prairie. Okay. If that's how you pronounce it. You guys can correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think it's called La Prairie. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a skincare from Switzerland. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're known for their uh, caviar ingredient. Mm. In the, in the, in so they the, use caviar in their ingredients. Yeah. Crack well, excuse me. And some bits of gold. And so like something that. like a Le Mer type of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, like a, it's, it's basically like a Le Mer kind of vibe. I need to to yeah. look into that. You, you know what? It. We got to tag them. Yeah, we're going to tag them. Listen, we're going to put all yeah. the products down in the description. It make your skin, like so when, the, when, when, the, when the bread was there, when I had the fuzz, that's what I was using. And it makes your skin look very, very nice. Like yeah. fresh. Mm. Like celebrity. Where can they fresh. find that at? Um, you can you can order it online. Mm -hmm. You can go to your high end department stores and they have it there as well. Like um, a Neiman, yeah, a Nordstrom. Um, I know for sure. Um, I used to get it from uh, Saks. Um, not Saks. Um, I used to get it for me. It was cheap because I, I I traveled a lot. I traveled mm -hmm. a lot, so I would get it from duty free. Okay. So all the duty free shops like the one in uh, Doha, Qatar. Yeah. Things like that. And when you get the cream, it lasts. It should last you like a year. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it should last you a year. So. I only, I know, for me, I normally get it when I'm in the uh, travel. So you're not sure in the states where. But you in can the states, get you can get it at Goodman Bergdorf. Okay. Um, like Neiman's, like you said, mm -hmm. and places like that. Okay. Or online. So that's what I use for that. So those are and what you use in the night. At night, and mm -hmm. I use a night cream. So at night, I use so one one um, brand that works really, really, really well is the Kate Somerville brand. Mm. Their stuff is good. They have a. They have this thing called um, Hollywood scrub mm. that makes your skin look like you just came out of uh, some uh, bath and honey milk or something like that. It's, it's, wow. it's amazing. But for some reason, after a, it, like that's the that's I think that's something for some people you can use it if you have like a big event to go to and you want to look good before the event, you can use that. But for me to use it every day after a while, I start to break out. Oh, okay. This works as well. Which we um, which we already spoke about. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that one doesn't break me out. But this is good, and this one is the liquid exfoliate. So you just take it out, you put it on a cotton pad, and then you. you wipe oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so then after that, do you use that and this too on the same day? No. no. Okay, so, so you gotta you gotta you do, swap you them. Swap yeah, you swap it. Mm. This so the Dr. Dennis Gross you can use it every day. But for me, it's, it's, I feel like it works so well that I don't need to use it every day. Okay. I use it like maybe every other day or sometimes three times a week. Mm. Yeah. And the days I don't, so that's for, well, we, we, we're discussing night, so I'll get back to that. So, okay. But if you're going to use it at night, you don't have to use this. You don't have to use Dr. Grinness during the day. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then for the moisturizer, I use the same serum. The um, Estee Lauder serum, the gold, the gold line, the mm -hmm. serum. Make sure you get the gold line. They have, you know, varieties of Estee Lauder. This is the top of the line that they have. Mm -hmm. So this is the one you want to use. Um, and then I use 
for the moisturizer at night, I use this. Um, it's called Daphine Paris. So it's in the same kind of uh, family with uh, Le Mer. Mm. This one is the um, Absolute Renewal Cream. So at night, basically, what it does is just renew your skin and make it back to, you know, back to, back to part, you know? Okay. Yeah. So that's what I use for night. Okay. And that's oh, it actually, for nighttime. No, I'm lying. So what I do, I also use this. What is that? This is um, Oxy Acne Treatment Advanced Care because I'm prone for acne. You have a lot of cleansing pads. Yeah, so the thing you, is... This is your third one. Yeah, because it's not only about washing. You have to really penetrate under the skin and mm. get it out. But the, the key is you don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you incorporate everything in a, in, a, in, a, in a smooth, systematic way so you don't irritate your skin and cause more irritation, which will cause more breakouts do you ever steam to get the products like into the skin have you ever tried steaming I, I, i've tried I, I i've tried it yeah but it's not something i do regular mm -hmm. i don't have the time for what it. do you think about it i think it works very well mm -hmm. so for me i i like to shower and i shower long yeah so but i feel like the heat i, I heard that taking hot showers isn't good for the skin it's not good for the skin mm -hmm. but when i really want to cleanse out my pores, I do put on in a hot shower, but I end the shower using cold water. Okay. Yeah, so I don't end it using cold water, but if I want to flush out my skin, I'll use the steam from the shower mm. when I'm taking a shower. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But the key with this one, because I use other product, I don't put this all over my face. I just put it on the stubborn areas where I know I have um, a bump that's going to come out or not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't use all over my face because then it will cause a breakout. Okay. Yeah. So this one is just for targeted areas. Targeted areas, yeah. Now, do you use that on the same day that you use Dr. Dennis Gross or your Kate Somerville? Or No, I use this. On, yeah, I do. You can use that on yeah. the same days? I do. It works for me. I don't use it all over. Like I said, I'll just use it. If I see like this two months Spot here, treatment. Yeah, I'm going to dab it and let it soak on it. And then okay. so it won't irritate. Yeah. So now that we're on you, we might yeah. as well go to your day. So what yeah, so they, what do you do for your skin during the day okay. as well as your beard? Because you right. got facial hair and I'm sure the guys want to know what is he putting on the bed to make it look like that? So Yeah, so mind you, I haven't got a good haircut in about um, two months now, almost two months. Two months, wow. Yeah, so I'm looking a hot, I'm look, I'm looking a hot mess right now. You but, don't look um, a mess. Yeah. <laughs> So for day, oh my gosh, side. So like I said, I do things on, on rotation according to the season. Mm -hmm. um, right now on my regimen, I'm using still the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, facial okay. wash. And then after this one, I use, uh, where did I put it right here? I use this one here, which is really good. So this one is called, Oh. yeah, mm -hmm. it's Dermalogica. So this one is the daily microfolate. And this one is a brightening rice base powder affiliate. So I use this. So after using that, I'll wait for like a few, like a few minutes, two or three minutes. Now, is that the powder one that you have? Yeah. To, okay. So this is a powder one. You put it in your hand and then you just wet your other hand and then you just rub it together mm -hmm. and then you rub it in your face. So okay. this is the regimen I use for that. And then I shower, take a shower, wash it out. And then I come out. So like we said earlier, I use the, the, the Dr. Dennis Cross pads. If I don't use that one during the, um, during the day, I would, I would use this one here, which is really, really good. This one is called Paula's Choice. All right. So this one is an um, exfoliant as well. And this one has 2% BH liquid and salic salicylic acid. So this is good for, you know, all skin types. For, uh, on, uh, it's good for unclogging pores and um, smoothing, you know, even your fine lines and stuff like that. So I use this. On the days I don't use... Dr. Dennis Gross. Okay. Yeah. Then I use a serum, which is this one here. The gold. Yeah, the gold line. After that, I use um. What do I use? I'm I'm, I'm sorry, my head is all over the place. It's so. okay. It's <laughs> a I'm lot like, of products. Yeah, but yeah. Because I, I we're do getting it. to it, yeah, and it's I, really good to see. Yeah, yeah. So I I use that the serum. Uh -huh. And then after that serum, I do use... So I was using um, this one, the, the Essay Lauder Renutrive uh, face cream as well. 
But their face cream is very good, but it's very expensive. And I didn't feel like spending more money for it. <laughs> it's like about 500 bucks for just the cream. Oh, um, wow. That's... Yeah. It's like 500 and some change. That's pricey. It, it that's some, up there. Yeah, it's a lot. It's some... Yeah, but it, it really works. It's, it's really good for the skin. But I was playing around with certain other creams, and I realized that the Charlotte Magic Cream work as good as that cream. Charlotte Tilbury? Yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's really good. I, it it works just as that. And it's, it's not cheap, but it's cheaper than, way cheaper than... Um, that's the, a lot. Of yeah, that's a lot. Of, so I use this for my cream, for my face shoes. So under eyes, you know, you got to do the under eyes. You can't have your skin looking nice, and your under eyes is looking crazy. And my... I have oily skin, but I have very dry under eyes. Mm. So that's the issue for me. So for me, regular eye cream doesn't work. I have to actually really get into eye creams and come up with a regimen to help me, you know, with my under eye situation. So with that one, I use the Clinique um, Super Energizer because I'm always looking tired. Even when I get rest, I look tired. So I will use this under my eye. It really soaks in fast. So when it soaks in fast and it dry up, I would then go on top of it with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream. That will seal everything in and then it keeps it looking moisturized and healthy looking. Have you ever gotten like a Botox under your eye? Uh, I, I have gotten, yes, once. Mm -hmm. I got an eye filler um, procedure mm -hmm. with... Uh, and what did you think about that? I liked it. It worked. It, it's good. I, it, it, I, it was good. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. I'm um, only asking because it seems like it's a, it's a new thing and a lot of black people are thinking about yeah. doing it now. So, so when I, I notice when I start to do more like meetings on um, video, I will see certain things more than I would see on a regular day. Oh. So it made me really get into it, especially during COVID time when you have to do yeah. a lot of stuff. You, yeah. So um, a good nurse had gave me um, a treatment and I felt like it, it was good. That's good. And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what yeah. else are you using? Is that it for during the day? Uh, uh, for during the day. Yeah, that's it. And like I said, I have oily skin. So I use this thing here. It's, uh, um, it's, it's called Yummy Skin. Mm. Uh, this one is universal. But what I do is uh, it's like a blurring um, balm type of thing. You can, put it under your, you can put it under your eyes and your face. Mm. Uh, it helps with me not producing too much oil. So that I, would, I would take some... So, during the, the summer, I would um, mix it with my cream because you can mix it with your cream okay. and then put it on. Uh, during the cold time, the, the cold season or dry season, mm -hmm. I would put my cream first and just take a little bit and put it on top of it. Mm -hmm. And this helps with the, uh, the production of oil. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes when you, do, when, you, when you use too much um, uh, products for oil use situation, yeah. you, it makes the situation worse. I feel like it kind of clogs yeah, the it clogs. skin. Yeah. Or, this yeah. one doesn't do it. It, it, doesn't block the, it doesn't block the oil production. It just mm -hmm. limits the shine. Right. Yeah. Now, can you hold the, the... Yeah, this one here. Yeah, hold it up for them to see yeah. the front. Yeah, the front. So okay. the front, let me have a silver spoon here. You mm -hmm. can take it out and use it to, you know, but... I can't find it. So That's cute. Yeah. So my question to you with oily skin, sometimes yeah. I was told that sometimes some people aren't really oily. What happens is they're not moisturizing yes. their, their yes. skin a lot. So yes. the body is producing yeah. more um, oil yeah. to um, necessary. Yeah, yeah. To help uh, moisturize or give that lubricant to the face yeah. because they're not putting anything on yeah. because they think that they're too oily. Yeah. So that's something that you guys should actually think about is you still, just because you're oily does not mean you don't put cream on. Just because you're oily yeah. does not mean you don't moisturize your face. You need to find the right moisturizer. There are so many types of moisturizers out there. And trust me, even for me with normal to dry, like normal to yeah dry combination type of skin, I had to test so many products, not just because of me being dry, but also because of the fact that I have sensitive skin. Yeah. So with that, when I would try a moisturizer, it would end up breaking me out or giving me issues. So it took me a while to find what I have now. So let's get into what I have for during the day. Mm -hmm. 
The first things first, I want to start off with this Petox skin from Skin Essentials. Like I am obsessed and I also love their HA Intensifier um, Glycan Serum. I heard, I heard These two good. are amazing. Yeah. I didn't know what I was missing. Yeah, it's good. Your product is good. It's so good. Yeah. Like, guys, these products we love and we are, like, living by. We swear by them. We're not sharing something we do not like. Yeah, for sure. I'm in love with this. It's a little bit pricey. It's about 100 and something to 200 and something, depending on um, the ounces. But I do feel like it is worth it. I lied to you not. So I'm in love with this, too. So I like to use these during the day for my morning routine. I also love this SK, SK2 product. I love to like wipe my, my skin. It's the facial treatment essence. And um, after I wash my face, I love going in with this to make sure that all the dirt and all the gunk and anything that has left from the my facial scrub is gone and then I'm actually allowing product to go in so this is wonderful on the days that my skin feels like it needs a pick-me-up I love to go in with the sk2 facial treatment mask when I say my goodness I mean, my goodness. I try not to use it too much because, chow. One day my skin was looking terrible. It was looking dry. It was looking like it needs life. It was getting like these little baby bumps and it was just looking really bad. I put it on at night. Um, I took the mask off. I allowed the, the juice, okay, the treatment to go into my skin and everything. I woke up the next day and my skin was like, huh. I went on stories on Instagram and people were sending me messages like, girl, your skin. I was like, girl, I know, right? Like I was shocked. I was so shocked. I was shook it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it. I swear by it. any time. Okay. Any time I need a savior. This is that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so those are that. And then I love to use, um, Macari. Okay. I'm still using my Macari. I'm using the green. Macari. <laughs> <laughs> the green one, but I only use it during the day. I realized that when I use the two, cause I, if you've watched my previous video on, um, skincare and not skincare, but like the creams that I'm using, to fix my hyperpigmentation issues. These products are really good and I still stand on that. However, I noticed that it was making me a little too light and, and doing some things that I didn't want it to do. So I decided to reduce it to just this one instead of combining the two little creams together. So now I'm just using this one, which is still giving me my SPF that I need. So that is great. And yeah, I use this during the day. It moisturizes me wonderfully. And I love the Endless um, Collagen Cleansing Balm. Swear by it, live by it. Perfect for removing makeup and perfect for removing the day. Perfect for washing the night off. So I just love this. I love to use this as my cleanser because I am normal to dry. So it gives me kind of like a moisturizer feeling mm. and then removes all the makeup and removes all the gunk, has my skin feeling hydrated while cleansed before putting all the other products on. So I really do love that. I, th I used that brand for it. It was good. But for me, because I have oily skin, after a while, it was becoming too much, like too much. Right. So for oily skin people, you, you can use that just on the days when you feel like... The thing is, they have some catered just to oily yeah. skin. This one yeah. may not be the yeah. one for you. Yeah. And that's why I say, again, that it is so important to know your skin type. Yeah. And don't be afraid to test out products. Yeah. 
even me with my sensitive skin, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've broken out yeah. by products like really bad, had a bad reaction that my skin was looking crazy. But that's the name of the game as a YouTuber, influencer, whatever it is that you call us, content creator. When you're trying out these products and stuff, sometimes it tends to mess you up. And I don't like to share anything that I don't like. So I'm not going to do that. But these products I really love and I'm using on the day to day, as you can see. Mm -hmm. What products are you using for your beard? Okay. So for my beard, so before we get to my beard, I actually forgot one thing I do use for my skin. Okay. So I think it's important for them to use. Okay. Yeah. So after I wash and clean my skin, after I wash my skin and then use the the, 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 the cleansing pads or whatever you use to clean your skin, I use this uh, Neutrogena Stubborn Acne Treatment. So this one, I use it every single day. And I feel like it's like magic in the, in the, in the tube. You just take a little bit and you put it in areas where you are prone for breakout or where you have breakouts already. This will help your skin so much. Like, I don't even know, I don't know. And I've been using it for a while now and it still, it still works for me. So this is something you, it's perfect for oily skin people, whatever product you're using. And if you decide to use the product that we are using, for oily skin people, you should definitely have this. Use this on little areas where you feel like you have um, issues and you don't rub it in, you just put it right over it and you wait for a few minutes before you continue your regimen. So you definitely gotta get one of these right here. Awesome. Yeah. And what about your beard now? All right, so for my beard, where do I start? Um, I use, I mean, right, right now I'm using this one, the Ultra Growth Beard um, Wash because I noticed when I use this one, it leaves my, my, my hair softer mm. and more manageable. And this one is a two-in-one. It's a beer shampoo and conditioner, so you can't beat that. But okay. for me, although I have very oily skin, I have very dry under eyes, and I have very, 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 very dry hair, beard mm. hair. So what works for the average does not work for me. So I really had to go in. This works for me. This works for me. This is a beard club thickening... Thickening leave-in beard conditioner. So you definitely need one of these for those who have my kind of beard situation. Mm -hmm. This is a leave-in conditioner. It's not a buttercream. It's not uh, oil. It's actually a leave-in conditioner. Because for me, even when I use oil and stuff, after two hours, especially on cold seasons, my hair is dry again. Mm. With this one, whatever product you use after this will last throughout the whole day. Okay. I use this. And then... After that, I knock it out. I knock it out with a, a beard butter. I use two different brands. The brand I'm using now is this one, um, Everyman Jack. The beard butter is very thick and it keeps the, the hair feeling soft and it, it, looks, it makes your hair look uh, thick and healthy. Like, healthy, yeah. And then after that, I seal, I seal in the beard butter with beard oil. So this particular one is a Moroccan mint and cedar oil that I'm using now, but you can use any oil for your choice. But for me, I like this one because it's not sitting on the hair. The oil actually penetrates the hair shaft. So yeah, I use that for my beard. Okay. Yeah. And I don't have a beard, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, talk about- I'm, I'm my bad, I forgot. So uh, on days when you really wanna have that uh, full beard look without it looking like flat, like that full look, you can put one of these on top of your regimen when you're done. This one is a, um, a beard balm, but it's thick. So what it does is you, you melt it in your hands and you put it and you comb your hair the way you want it. And it, 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 it makes your hair stay in that direction. So it will always look full. So if your hair goes in this way and you don't want your hair to go in this way, you want your hair to come out like this, you put this on top of your hair and you comb it on the direction you want it to be at. And it will, it will, look, it will give it a look throughout the day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And for me, I don't have a beard, so we're going to talk about body care because, again, I, I have... <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to talk about body care. And for that, I've been using the Taraji P. Henson's Good Days mm. um, Body Cleanser. And 
I honestly am a black soap girl. I love black soap to the day I die because I feel like I'm clean afterwards, mm -hmm. right? And it's really hard for me to find like regular soaps that still give me that cleanse feel, you know, that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. But what happens is with black soap and soaps like black soap is that it dries out the skin. So if you already have dry skin, yeah. you got extra dry skin now, and mm -hmm. then you're going to crack. They yeah. say black don't crack, but it do. Skin is skin. And mm -hmm. if you don't treat it well, it does crack. Yeah. So I was sent this. I was gifted this. And when I tried it, oh, my God, not only does it smell amazing, but it really made me feel like my body was cleansed, but it was also moisturized. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. It feels, it made my skin feel hydrated. It didn't make it feel washed out and dry. So I really, really love this. And then another thing is on the days that I shave or get rid of my hair, which is rarely, but I do. Okay. And when I do, I love to use this, which is again, Taraji P. Henson gifted item, which is the baby buffed. It smells amazing. It is vanilla and tuberose and what? Mm -hmm. Smell it. Mm, wow, it smells really good. Wow. It smells like, damn. I wanna... And it moisturizes you and exfoliates your body. So when I finish removing the hair from my legs and my hee-haw and all the places, I love to go in with this. And then I go and visit my man on the bed, you know. The packaging PG was nice 13. On it too, oh, well. the packaging was really nice. Yeah. And then again, I love to use the cream, their body cream. And I like to use the body cream um, in the night and during the day. During the day, I touch it up with some oil. Um, I use castor oil. I just add a little castor oil to my hand and I add this just to make it thicker and to give me that glow and that oily look, you know? And I love this because it's light, but it's also moisturizing. So when I add it to the oil, it does what it needs to do. Um, so this is perfect. Again, smells divine. Mm. Packaging is on point and it does moisturize and keep your body feeling hydrated and really that good. is what is important for me yeah. another thing too i have body glycerin and i got this from makari okay i've been using this on my legs you're only supposed to use this like two three um times out of the week so that's why you don't see that much because i'm not trying to use it too much but i am using this at mm. least two times a week, I go ahead and use this. And you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way, which is great, so you're not constantly <laughs> buying it. So this is wonderful. Okay. And that's my body care for the winter. Key for oily skin, again, is not to just strip out oil, strip out oil, it's to right. keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, Gradually, your skin uh, balance, your oil balance will come into normal. Right. So, for those who are using or who are thinking to using this type of steps for oily skin, um, just moisturize, moisturize, and moisturize. Don't think because you have oily skin, you don't need to moisturize. Moisturize, okay? Use your serum. If you don't want to use too much uh, facial cream, use a little bit. But whatever you use, I noticed what helped for oily skin people is that after your whole regimen, let's say you want, let's say you're in Ghana or you're like in Mexico or any or, or here even in uh, uh, Texas, um, just use your moisturizer and at the end of your moisturizer, put like a, uh, 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 like a powder on top. That helps a lot, especially for men. It helps a lot. Like even when you sweat, you won't be too shiny. So for me, when I travel and I'm like going outside and I don't want to be too oily, because I get oily really, 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 really bad. Um, I use the Neutrogena Shine Control. This is actually for men, but women can use it too. And this one is a rice protein complex. A little goes a long way. You dap it, boom, 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 boom. Yo, you're gonna thank me. 
This here will keep your skin looking very, very fresh. Like it will, it, it will make your skin look like you, you, you're not outside, like you're indoors in, in the air condition. So that's my, my, my secret for oily skin people. You're not, stri you're not stripping your oils, but then because of the, um, the shine control, all you're doing is just controlling the shine. So after some days, some weeks, your skin will get used to the moisturizer you're putting into your skin. And before you know it, before you know it you're, not, you're not even gonna need this. Uh, you can still use it if you want to still look like a touch up or be fresh, but you're going to notice that um, your skin is not too oily without using this product after. So that's the key for you. And since you're bringing that up, yeah. I also have one product here yeah. that does reduce oils. I tend to get oily when I have product on my face, when I have mm. the makeup and everything like that. Mm. After some time, it tends to like start to get oily or greasy or look like a melting chocolate bar. So I love to use the Milk Hydro um, Grip Glow Primer, which is the base eliminator or eliminator or whatever. This is awesome. This has been, you've been seeing my makeup yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. When I'm going out yeah. and I want to beat my face, this keeps me... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It gives me that glow, but it also keeps my face on Indeed. point and in place throughout the night. So I swear and live by this. Indeed. And with that said, I hope you learned something. I yeah. hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Yes. Don't forget Thank to give you. us a thumbs up. Don't forget to give us a comment down below. And if you want some more videos like this, don't be afraid to tell us in the comments. Aquisi? Yeah. We out. We out. <laughs> Bye, guys.